Hey, welcome back to the tutorials about advanced sessions in Unreal 4. So, in this, in the previous videos, we just tested our multiplayer features, and we could host a multiplayer game and join it with our clients and with the other player actually and joining success and we are going to say hey when the server press hello press solo sorry it's going to teleport our players in another level so how are we how are we going to do that we're going to say hey we want an event on the game instance that says uh, level traveling uh, tele um, trigger level traveling that's going to be it we're going to need an input that is going to be the, the name of the level we want to be teleported in so we want a name I believe uh, where we're going to say we want a string and that is going to be level name and our how are we creating a new level where well, that's basically simple we want to execute console command and we want to say a hey, server tra travel but we want to add to have to to add the name of our level in the end so we want server travel space level name specify player yes we want an host so we're going to have a controller hosting the session hosting the doing the the level traveling logic so that is the host we're going to specify that no actually we don't want we don't want that we want all players to travel i believe it's if i do if i do that only the host is going to be teleported and i don't want that at all so Level traveling. So in the out game menu, we're going to bind our solo button. So we're going to rename that. No, I'm not going to rename that. Doesn't matter, just for testing purposes. So he's going to ask his he's going to ask his controller to join the game. So I'm going to comment the thing we just did in the previous video. Joining logic. Uh, we I'm going to copy paste that again. Client wants to level travel, and uh, that's going to ask for a string. No, actually, that does not, because we're going to build several events that handle the traveling logic, and each of these events will give a different parameter in that level name. So, client wants to level travel, run on clients. Uh, I'm going to rename that client wants to wants to start game I'm just going to name that for now that is going to call server start game run on server calls the game instance says trigger traveling and here I'm just going to say start game. I'm going to compile that, and we're going to find out what's the name of our level. So here, you want to to pick one of your level, and to say, hey, that's going to be the level both players are going to start in. So for the purposes of our tutorial, I'm going to choose that map. So I'm going to copy paste that name into here. So I'm even going to promote that to a variable to avoid to avoid any misspelling error. Out game controller start level. So does that have my name in store? Yes, that does. So when I press that, both clients are supposed to be traveling. Not no, because I'm not doing that. Start game client wants to start game, so I'm on the add. I forgot to add the add event. So the add says, hey, I want to start game, start game, start game with the test map name, level travel, server travel with the name. And I think I forgot something. I forgot something just there. Yep, I forgot something. So 
in our host game's logic, we want here to say when we open the game, we open a, a list as an option, a listen server. So that basically says, hey, people can join the game. So I don't know why it worked since I didn't did that, since I didn't do that, but uh, I hope uh, everything's fine now. So if I hit play, this one is going to host the game. This one is going to join that game. Mm, if it works, I'm not sure if it does. Joining success. Mm, this one is going to eat solo. So, hmm, is it working? Oh, I believe it, it doesn't. It doesn't work. Why does it, doesn't it work? Maybe I tipped the wrong option when it comes to that point. So I'm going to check on the internet to see what that says. Unreal Cats, Unreal 4, sorry. Unreal 4, listen server option. Hosting and joining listen server with blueprints. Oops. No, I don't want that. Command line arguments. I believe that's exactly what I want. Listen, specify server as a listen server. So maybe just have to say that. Or maybe it doesn't. Uh, I think I'm just going to try Okay, I think I'm just going to try that. That might work. Host multiplayer game, server created, browse online games. But there is a strange behavior. I'm not seeing a restart on the client. Oh, oh, yep, that was the restart I was talking about. So that I think the restart I mean is because the client joins the session of the server so he basically restarts his game and is being spawned in the base level of our game so he basically restarts the out game level and he respawns he, he respawns the menu with the delay we implemented in the controller so that restart it wasn't happening and it was quite strange and i believe if i press if i press m yep i see the four number that I didn't see previously and I, I thought it was a bug and it did was and I'm going to we're going to view why it was a bug in future videos so I think if I hit solo that is going to teleport both players now as it wasn't before up so we have a small delay and both players are, are spawning so I have a, I already have lots of things set up spells and such and st different colors for different players we're going to build a uh, logic that mm, make people able to differentiate who are who, what player they are in their in their in the map so basically giving different players different colors to different players so up up we have we have errors so that that's because I have already lots of stuff set up. It doesn't really matter. You shouldn't have errors at that stage, I believe, with uh, such a simple setup. I'm going to disconnect pretty much the logic of my characters just to see if we get some errors that might give me actually some views on what's what might be happening on your side of the things so if i play i'm going to host a game i'm going to browse online servers actually lan servers up with a little bit of delay of delay I'm going to create a level i'm going to actually start the game sorry and i should have my player is spawning and nothing happen happens. Yep, nothing happens. That's pretty much how you. Uh, well, maybe you. You should be able to move in the third person example. 
Ah, I have errors anyway. Why? Why do I? Okay, okay. Well, because it's that's listening to my to my inputs, so it doesn't really matter. We are fine. We have players connecting and joining with each other. We can move on, and it's, that's going to wrap up that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.